to demonstrate a simple video tutorial using visible spectral photometer for iodine clock reaction. I have got my potassium iodide, sodium thiosulfate, acid starch, and of course hydrogen peroxide. And this is the famous blue-black coloration. We are not going to use the cross method, but visible spectral photometer. I have my cuvette. Add in 150 microlit of sodium thiosulfate, 150 microlit of acid, and of course 150 microlit of starch solution. Then I'm going to add my potassium iodide, one mil of potassium iodide into the cuvette. Place the cuvette now into the visible spectrophotometer. And once I add my hydrogen peroxide, reaction will start and the blue-black coloration will start to form. Once the blue-black coloration starts to form, the absorbance will increase immediately. So I'm going to measure the absorbance at 608, whereby it absorbs maximum. So I'm going to take the time for the absorbance to increase. So the reaction is only applicable if there's an increase, a sharp increase in absorbance. I'm going to add now 1 mil of my hydrogen peroxide. into the cuvette and what I need to do now is I need to run simultaneously so when I add I'm going to start my data collection so this is what I do add in and start my data collection to measure the time it takes ok and start my data collection so what I did was prepare a serial dilution of potassium iodide research question how will changing potassium iodide affect the rate of iodine clock reaction? So the reaction will be very fast and blue-black coloration will start to form very fast and there will be a sharp increase in absorbance. So I'm going to take the time it takes. So the reaction should be done. Shot up all the way and when I take it out, blue-black coloration form. So this is a much more accurate way measure instead of using the cross method using visible spectrophotometer and it is only possible if there's a sharp increase in absorbance and this is possible using hydrogen peroxide for iodine clock reaction thank you hope you enjoyed this tutorial